Thanks to action by Communist China, the pineapple is now Taiwan's most famous fruit and a synonym for freedom. On March 1, the People's Republic of China imposed a ban on the import of pineapples from the Republic of China, that is, Taiwan. Taiwan, known as the Fruit Kingdom, was once called the Pineapple Kingdom. Communist China's announcement meant a crisis for the farmers on the self-governed island. Taiwan's pineapples begin full production starting each March. Every year, Taiwan exports about 40,000 tons of pineapples to mainland China, constituting 95.2% of the total export. Many, including those close to the Chinese Communist Party, were waiting to see what would happen to the huge pineapple stock of nearly 50,000 metric tons. To consume them all, each of Taiwan's 23 people would have to eat 18 kilograms of the fruit. However, Taiwanese farmers soon received good news. In other words, many Taiwanese and foreign companies have stepped in to fill the gap by ordering Taiwan's pineapples. By noon of March 2, less than 96 hours after the CCP's notice, orders had reached 41,687 metric tons, surpassing the total amount sold to mainland China last year and reaching 82% of the 2021 export target. These sales have greatly exceeded people's expectations, thanks to the fast actions of Taiwan's leaders and even more so to the support of the Taiwanese people. Taiwan's pineapples sold to China last year had a 99.79% passing rate. Last year, only 13 pineapples out of 6,200 shipments to China were affected. In addition, the same problem exists within China's own territory. When they are detected at the customs border, they can be treated by fumigation and can be directly admitted to the market. The Taiwan Prevention and Inspection Director said, since October 19 last year, Taiwan farmers have been very cooperative with the orchard and packaging site management measures. The problem of mesocosm has been resolved, and the pineapples exported to the mainland since last October have been no problem. According to the international practice regarding the mesocosm problem, countries would first resort to communication. The Chinese government only mentioned that the harmful species were detected, then banned the whole industry. They unilaterally decided everything. This does not comply with international practices. So, why did the Chinese Communist Party suddenly ban pineapples from Taiwan? Taiwan economist Wu Jialong believes that the Chinese government might be out of foreign reserves. Such a shortage could make imported pineapples unaffordable. He notes that in recent years, it's become harder to see large numbers of Chinese tourists visiting shopping malls, not just in Taiwan, but also in Japan, France, and the UK. In addition, starting in August 2019, the CCP put bans on mainland Chinese from visiting Taiwan, whether as individuals or with tourist groups, in an attempt to warn the Tsai government against pushing for Taiwan independence. However, another practical reason for the bans is probably also to axe tourism spending and preserve mainland China's foreign reserves. Wu added that the CCP announced a ban on Australian beef and wine imports last year, ostensibly in retaliation for Australia's support for an independent investigation into the origin of the pandemic. Like the actions taken against Taiwan, this move was probably also due to a lack of foreign reserves. Wu makes a strong argument. In 2020, China's foreign reserves, including its trade surplus, had a net inflow of over 500 billion, yet the foreign reserves only increased by about 100 billion, indicating larger outflows. It is possible, 
even likely that the Chinese government is facing a foreign exchange crunch. Foreign investment is leaving, corrupt officials are moving their laundered money abroad, and last year the CCP gifted large sums of money to its allies. Another view is that because the CCP has stolen Taiwan's agricultural expertise, Taiwan pineapple production now competes with the industry in mainland China. Beijing may have banned Taiwanese pineapples out of a desire to protect production. A Chinese trader told the media that in addition to Taiwan, China also imports from Southeast Asian countries like Thailand and the Philippines. A small portion of pineapples comes from Central and South America. Mainland China produces about 2 million tons a year, of which more than 60% comes from Guangdong, as well as Henan Island and Lezhou Peninsula. Henan in particular has stepped up production in recent years. Taiwan businesses brought a unique species and years of experience to Henan and the nearby Guangxi province and other places, resulting in rapid advances in mainland China. Now, Taiwan pineapples have come to be known as a niche of those two regions. Taiwan pineapple is fruit uniquely bred in Taiwan. It looks different and tastes sweeter compared to the regular pineapples typically grown in the Philippines and southern China. Taiwan pineapples can be eaten directly without soaking. Regular pineapples are usually soaked in brine before consumption because their high acidic content leaves a sting on the tongue. The ban has led to speculation about whether Taiwan pineapples would end up in the same predicament as other Taiwan businesses that invested in communist China. The event will likely make other industries aware of the long-term risks that arise from doing business on the mainland. The Communist Party-run Global Times published an editorial on February 28, warning that banning pineapples does not count as a card at all, and it is not necessary for us to say explicitly what cards there would be. Let's lead the DPP authorities to their nightmares. The DPP is the party of Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen. The Global Times editorial serves as a warning that banning imports of Taiwanese pineapples is just one step that Beijing could take to punish Taiwan. Though Global Times does not elaborate, it may be assumed that the CCP will consider targeting other Taiwanese agricultural products. The Republic of China, as Taiwan is officially called, has been menaced by communism since well before 1949, when the communist rebels led by Mao Zedong took over all of mainland China. To deal with the Republican Chinese government, the Communist Party not only resorted to warfare, but also infiltrated the authorities from within using the United Front. United Front organizations remain active around the world today. In Taiwan, the CCP hopes to use the United Front to conquer the island and destroy the Republic of China. The process may be described in three steps. First, the CCP opens up the mainland market to Taiwan, allowing the island's businesses to profit and encouraging them to make further investment in China, eventually leading to economic dependence on the mainland. The second step is for the Communist China to impose unexpected bans on Taiwan business while running propaganda to blame these policies on Taiwanese politics. Finally, pro-communist politicians and pro-CCP media in Taiwan step in to exert influence over the political environment, marginalizing those who try to defend Taiwan's autonomy and freedoms. However, the Taiwan leadership has taken quick action amidst the current crisis, as did the island's people in the international community. On the day of the ban notice, the Taiwan Agricultural Committee immediately created a plan, including for 30,000 tons to be resold to other countries and 20,000 tons to be used for diversified processing and domestic marketing. After the ban was made public, many Taiwanese took action, including local businesses who made advance orders. For example, Taiwan's Zhanghui Telecom announced the immediate purchase of 30 metric tons of pineapples as gifts for its employees. The American Institute in Taiwan, AIT, posted on its Facebook page, Have you had a pineapple today? Followed by the hashtags, Real Friends, Real Progress, and hashtag, Pineapple Solidarity. The Canadian office in Taiwan also posted a photo of pineapples and Hawaiian pizza, saying, Love pineapples on pizza, especially those from Taiwan. The Japan-Taiwan Exchange Association shared photos of the association's staff eating pineapples. Interestingly, the ban has also led to soaring sales of pineapple tarts, a popular snack that originated in Taiwan. Information posted to Twitter shows the pineapple tarts are sold out in many American supermarkets. 
Rumors are spreading that mainland traders have requested suspensions of bell fruit imports from Taiwan, suggesting that this product may also be in danger. As if to safeguard against sudden moves by Beijing, Taiwan's Council of Agriculture announced that in 2020, exports of the fruit to the United States increased by 210%, while exports to Hong Kong, Japan, and South Korea all grew by more than 30% in order to diversify the market. Taiwanese officials have suggested that countries vulnerable to the CCP's economic coercion should band together to weather the threats. Asian netizens have mentioned the Milk Tea Alliance featuring Taiwan pineapple tarts. Milk Tea Alliance refers to a popular online movement founded by netizens in Southeast Asia as a reaction to CCP internet trolls. In online discussion, Taiwan pineapples are now being called Freedom Pineapples.